Hello YouTube, how are we all doing? Welcome back to the Top BFC channel. I look a little bit sweaty and all that because I've just been at work all day. Uh, I've just come back now and I thought I need to do a video about tonight's game against West Brom away from home at the Hawthorns. Now I watched a little bit of it at work, like when I could, like when I had a little bit of free time. It was on in the kitchen, so whenever I would go in, like I would, I would see the glimpse of it and yeah... It was disappointing. I don't think we played the best. I thought West Brom had the much better chances. Uh, we didn't have a lot of possession like usual. I mean, we had possession, but not as much as what we usually do. We were mainly playing sort of counter-attacking football and, and trying to get in behind them where they were pressing us a lot. And we came up against a team who also press a lot like we do. And I think that was something that we haven't really come up against this season. It was totally different and totally new for us. And it wasn't a walk in the park like we thought it would be. Um, West Brom gave it their all. I thought they did a very good performance. And if they had better players who could take their chances, they would have walked that game. I felt like they would have definitely um, have won it. But they didn't. I thought the defending on display wasn't too bad from Burnley. You know, we have some good defenders in the hole with Bellis. Great. I thought Murich made some great saves. He's turned out to be a really good keeper. I think a lot of slack he got at the beginning of the season. I mean, he he is definitely good. He came off again. I don't know why. I, I, maybe someone let me know in the comments why he went off again. Maybe he had another injury or whatever. But, yeah, we took him off again. But he's looking really good. And that, that pass from him, the way he uses his feet is beautiful. The pass from him to get it in behind, to give us the penalty for us to score... It's beautiful. I think he's becoming a key player in this team. And he's very integral to what we need at Burnley right now in this system. But, as I say that, we haven't played the best in that game. We weren't pressing a lot. West Brom were pressing us. We came up against challenging opponents. And probably the most challenging opponents we've come up against this season. And we lost to West... West we lost, sorry, to Watford. You know, and I thought that West Brom put in a better performance from what I could see they put in a better performance than what West Brom did. I mean, than what Watford did. Um, they just couldn't take their chances. Whether that's down to their players or good defending by us, who knows. But they did, in the end, eight minutes of added time is a bloody joke. A lot of people saying they don't know where that came from, but it came and it, it happened. And eight minutes of added time, we should have held on. And in the last minute, I mean, it was poor by Connor Roberts to basically assist the man. And just getting muddled up at defence. And then, yeah, they go ahead and they score. And it's 1-1. One, one and it's, it's, it's annoying because we were up the whole game. And it feels like a defeat, even though a point. And if you look at the game, you look at the stats, we should be chuffed with a point. But we're not because we were 1-0 up the entire game and held on well. But yes, we could have scored, but I felt like they had the better chances. It was difficult. It was a difficult game. And we haven't come up against that difficult of a team this season. I said it and I'll say it again. I thought West Brom did credit where credit's due. I thought they had a great game. But <clears throat> a lot of Burnley fans, well, not a lot. There's a couple of Burnley fans getting ahead of themselves thinking, fuck, we're fucked. Holy shit. Like, we can't even hold on to a lead. It's shit like that. You know what I mean? And the majority of Burnley fans, though, from what I'm seeing, have been quite calm. I saw this tweet saying three games in six days. I'll take seven points from that, and I will. Like, you got to think about it logically. Six days, we picked up seven points. That's huge. It's a great improvement, and it's showing that we are making strides forward to what we really want, and the way we're playing is working. We're bringing in more players. We'll talk about the window in another video, probably. But, yeah, I thought it was, you know, these... These games, these past three games have been challenging. But we've done really, really well to come out with seven points out of three games in six days. That's huge. That's so many games. And to think that we haven't really changed the team out a lot, it's great to see that we're doing really well. And I'm proud of the boys. I'm proud of the perform like the performances in those games. Today, obviously, the performance wasn't as great, but... You know, Liverpool or Man City, they don't play well in every game and still somehow scrap a point or a win. And that's what we need to do. When we don't play well, we still need to somehow come out with a result because that's what winners, that's what champions 
do, and that's how you get out of this league. So you can't really think. Of, I mean, you can think about the negatives that we know there's some changes that need to be made. You know, you know why can't we hold on to that lead? And you know when we come up against a pressing team, you know what do, what do we do about that? How do we change maybe our uh, style of play, our system? How does that affect us? But if you think about it logically, three games in six days, seven points. You take that. You take that happily. If someone said that to me three games ago, yeah, I take that. We're second in the league. Obviously, teams have got to play. Or probably, we'll probably end up, I'd say, around about sixth at the end of the week. Could be higher, could be lower. Who knows? But for right now, we're second in the league. I'm happy being there and what we're doing and what we're building. Seems like VK has a plan, and I'm happy with it. The support, again, is great. You know, the boy, you know, the boys, they've got the backing by the fans. Is so good to see. So, yeah, it's huge. It's huge. And I don't think we should be that downhearted about the 1 1 draw. Not yet. No, no, no. Now we go up again. We go difficult games coming up. We go against Norwich, you know, next week, next Friday. We've got a week to recover. And then we go again next Friday against Norwich, you know. We go again, and then we got Preston and Lancashire Derby, and then you got Bristol City. So it's going to be tough. There's tough games in there. Norwich definitely is a, is definitely a difficult game. A team that's also been relegated from the Premier League, another contender for the title. It's going to be a difficult one, but we'll see what we're made of, and I'm excited for the future. So don't be too disheartened with this one-one. Yes, it's annoying that they got one back, but we have to think about the positives. And a lot of Burnley fans, which I'm happy about, are thinking about the positives. And that's great to see. Anyway, let me let me know what you think about the game. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.